Charles, what can be done to stop the Cardano fund? It's been too damaging for too long. I feel it every day. It makes me older and fatter and more worn down. Well, the white, my scraggly, scrotal beard. Yeah. Um, next year, it's just going to have to be funded. Uh, you guys are going to have to come together and you're going to have to have some conversations uh, and uh, decide how much you want to spend on creating a marketing function and a brand function for Cardano. We've done what we can with Cardano 360 and these other things, but never really the place of a core developer to try to learn and invent how to be ecosystem builders and marketers. There are much better, cheaper, more qualified people uh, than us to pursue that. And frankly, that needs to be decentralized. So the point of an on-chain government is to make a priority of these types of things. And then I think things will get a lot better. You know, the Ethereum community they'll also be a lot happier with SIP 1694 because what will happen is they can't reconcile Cardano being successful or being legitimate. So they'll say, ah, Cardano fired its founder. Charles has been fired and now Cardano is successful. That, that'll that be the narrative of 2024 if 1694 comes through. And then they'll like Cardano. They'll suddenly want to work with it. They'll enjoy it. They'll embrace it. The FUD will go way down. This is just personal and there's a very strong distaste among certain people there. And that's all right. You know, and that's the point of decentralization and it's, it gives you an anchor uh, to, to be able to be in the club. So I think that'll help a lot too. It'll tone things down a little bit. 